Hi, and welcome to another video from MathsRevision.net, Solving Simultaneous Equations. We'll be working through three examples today. Our first example, 6x plus y equals 10, and 4x plus y equals 8. Now, what you'll notice here is that these two terms are exactly the same, plus 1y or plus y. Now, what's the rule to remember here? Well, if both the terms have the same signs in them and the same value for those signs, we do same sign subtract. What does this mean? All we have to do is subtract the bottom term from the top term. So, 6x minus 4 equals 2x. And because we've taken the y's from each other, that means nothing. So we carry on to the third part of the equation, which is 10 minus 8 equals 2. So we're left with 2x equals 2 because the y's have been cancelled out. So if we know that 2x is 2, then 1x must be 1. Now we've figured out the value for 1x, so we need to figure out the value for y. So to do this, we simply write out the first expression that we had, that's 6x plus y equals 10, but we substitute the 6x for the 6 that we know it is. So 6 plus y equals 10, and if we turn that around, 10 minus the 6 that we know about, that was the 6x, equals 4. So y equals 4. Now, we use that if the terms have the same sign in front of them. However, in this example, you can see that plus 5y and minus 5y have two different signs. So, the rule to remember on this round is alternate sign add. Now, what does that mean? It's exactly the same as the last, only this time we're going to add the bottom to the top. So, x plus 3x is 4x, 5y plus a minus is always going to be nothing, so you forget about that. 9 plus 7 is 16. So if we work it out, 16 divided by 4 of something is going to be 4. So 1x equals 4, or x is equal to 4. So the same as the last time, we need to figure out the value of y. So if we know that x is equal to 4, then we can rewrite the first equation again, substituting the x that we had before for the 4 that we know it is now. 4 plus 5y equals 9. So if we turn that around in itself, 9 minus 4 equals 5, therefore y equals 1. Now for this final example, we realise that neither the terms, values or signs are the same. So what we'll need to do is try and turn one of the top terms into the bottom term. So the easiest way to do this is the y that we have here, we can make that 3y by simply times it by 3. But what you need to remember is that if we times this y by 3, we need to times everything else in the same equation by 3 also. So, take this down here. 5 times 3 is 15, so 15x, and we've already times the y by 3, so 3y, and we also need to times the result in 8 by 3, which is 24, because we know that we've got two alternate signs, so alternate signs add, we take this equation which we've done nothing to and simply add it to what we've done. So what we're left with is 16x, and because we've taken the minus 3 from the plus 3, that results in nothing, so we ignore that middle phrase, and what's left at the end is 32. So if we take our 32, and we divide that by 16, we get 2. Therefore, x must equal 2. Now what we need to do is find the value of y. So, to find the value of y, we simply take our first equation that we had here, 5x plus y equals 8, and knowing that x equals 2, we can do 5 times 2 is 10, so 10 plus y equals 8. Turn that back on itself, so the result, 8 minus 10 
equals minus 2. Therefore, y equals minus 2. Thanks for watching. Remember, you can find more information at mathsrevision.net and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Revision World TV.